call the meeting to order. I'll give an uh, opening statement, and then because this is very much an issue of importance to our subcommittee on uh, antitrust, uh, Senator Klobuchar will speak, and then Senator Lee would opening, make opening statements, and then I'll introduce the witnesses. This hearing will focus on mergers and acquisitions in the seed and agricultural industry. This industry provides basic inputs to farmers for growing crops. It is on the precipice of a very significant structural transformation. Currently, there are six major companies in biotech seed industry, Monsanto, DuPont, Syngenta, Bayer, Dow, and BASF. They all compete for market share with one another while working with each other through cross-licensing agreements. Five of the big six companies are engaged in merger and acquisition discussions that will further concentrate an industry that's already undergone massive consolidation. Right now, farming income is in a downturn. During the 2012 drought, the monthly average price of corn hit an all-time high over seven and a half dollars. Today, corn at my home elevator at New Hartford, Iowa, is trading at under three dollars per bushel. Using the 10-year county average yield in Butler County, Iowa, where I farm with my son Robin, you get a, a revenue loss on gross income of $600. In other words, income is way, way below the cost of production. In other words, farming in some of these grains is not profitable. And I just mentioned corn. Similar trends can be seen in soybean, wheat, and other crops. Farmers are under tremendous financial pressure. I've experienced it. When I first uh, started farming, 1960, a bag of seed corn cost somewhere between $12 and 50 cents to $15. Today, seed corn lists at around $300 a bag. Data from Iowa State University shows that the collective cost of seed chemicals and fertilizer for an acre of soybeans has gone up 94% in the last 20 years. Clearly, the collective egg biotech industry has produced cutting edge innovations, higher yields, and a great deal of efficiencies for agricultural industry. And for a farmer like me, and being able to see soybeans without any weeds in them is quite an accomplishment. Uh, the innovation of companies in this room today have helped the world reach productivity levels, which ease fear of how to feed a growing global pop population. However, when does the size of companies and concentration in the market reach the tipping point? So much that a market becomes anti-competitive. In addition to the transactions involving five of the big six, in the seed and agrochemical industry. Just recently in fertilizer industry, two Canadian companies, Potash Corporation and Agria, announced that they were merging to create the largest fertilizer company in the world. I'm afraid that this consolidation wave may have become a tsunami. I've long been concerned about concentration and competition in agriculture sectors. Farmers are unique. Their business involves accepting prices from input providers and in commodity markets while hoping for good weather in between. Farmers don't have the ability to simply raise the price of their crops when they sell them to pass on higher input costs. So I'm concerned that all these companies merging at the same time will have an adverse impact on competition in the industry. It will raise barriers to entry for smaller companies by altering agriculture input markets for seeds and chemicals. Further concentration in the industry will reduce choice and raise the price of chemicals and seeds for farmers, which ultimately will affect choice and cost to consumers. Further consolidation will diminish critical research and development initiatives, which drive agricultural innovation and technological advances. 
Each of these transactions raises unique questions about competition and the further and the future of seed and agrochemical industry. Questions have been raised about these transactions uh, and what impact it will have on market structure and, it, and the elevation of concentration in seeds, traits, and chemical markets. Furthermore, unique with respect to ChemChina's purchase of Syngenta, multiple concerns have been raised about the competitive advantage that are likely to result. These concerns raise, range from Chinese regulatory process favoring Syngenta biotech traits over those developed by competing biotech companies, all the way to the fact that ChemChina is a state-owned enterprise of the Chinese government that can enjoy favorable trade and litigation treatments as compared to public companies. Not only that, the Chinese government's stake in ChemChina raises concerns about the impact of the acquisition on our nation's food supply because a safe and sustainable food supply is critical to the national security. In early August, I asked the Justice Department and the Federal Trade Commission, along with the Department of Agriculture, to collaborate as appropriate in their analysis of the agricultural biotechnology and seed industry to ensure that the multiple transactions under consideration do not substantially lessen competition. I just heard back from these agencies last week that they'll be heeding uh, my advice and collaborating as appropriate with the Department of Agriculture on their analysis of the impact of the proposed mergers in the agricultural sector. There's a lot of interest in how these transactions will recalibrate the seed and chemical world and whether they'll pass regulatory muster. It's absolutely crucial that competition is preserved in this important sector of our economy. Iowans, including farmers, company employees, and regular consumers are interested in how, how these deals will impact price, choice, and jobs. Hence, uh, the importance of this hearing. I want to thank the witnesses, all of you, for participating in today's panel. I'm disappointed that Chem China turned down our invitation to testify, but I look forward to hearing from the witnesses before us and the unique perspective that each of them bring to our discussions. I've had my say. I uh, give the witnesses their opportunity to counteract anything I've said. Now I turn to Senator Klobuchar and then Senator Lee. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And if anyone ever questioned where the chairman's mind is, you should see his folder with his farm on it every single day. Um, and